Hey y'all, do you see this sweet little strawberry punch bowl cake? Isn't it precious? I even made some in these little punch cups for individual servings. So if you want to make one, stay with me and we'll do it together. Remember those yellow cakes that we threw in the oven last night on video real quick? Well, we are ready to make our punch bowl cake. You layer it like a trifle in this punch bowl. Isn't that pretty? Um, the very first person that ever taught me this was my first mother-in-law, Velda. So I'm gonna call this Velda's Punch Bowl Cake because this literally is her punch bowl cake that I always would make. I would always help her cook for like before a family reunion, even when I was just dating her son. Um, Cause I love to cook and I love to help out. That was, I was that little girlfriend, the helping girlfriend. Y'all know what I'm talking about? So anyway, and she taught me a lot in the kitchen. She really, really did. Many things I still use of hers. And this punch bowl cake is one of them. I'm going to start with, it's very simple actually, but it tastes literally heavenly. It starts with a yellow cake mix, um, some frozen strawberries that I have thawed, thawed frozen strawberries, and then I add fresh strawberries, but you do not have to do that. Velda did not, and it was delicious. I've just done that through the years. And then vanilla instant pudding. And I'm using French vanilla today only because that's what was in my pantry. And so a lot of this can be in your pantry and your freezer. I had those yellow cake mixes in my pantry. So that's what I'm using today, okay? I didn't have to run to the stores, what I'm getting at. So right after church, John did let me run in the grocery store and grab these strawberries. And they're on sale right now because um, it's strawberry season here in Louisiana. So I was proud of that. I got those for $2 and something instead of like $6 and something. So I was really thankful for that. Yes, I was. Um, usually you can just use one or two of the big packages of pudding. These are the smaller little smaller ounce ones. Yeah, I'm always looking at stuff like I'm going to be able to see it. Like, miraculously, I'm going to have my younger eyeballs, right? 3.4 ounce, but yeah, you can get that bigger package. Like I say, I'm just using what's in my pantry. So, it's a pantry punch bowl cake, right? Yes. And we always took this, no matter what family reunion or gathering, this was be what Velda took along with many many other things i had to throw those away y'all they were sitting right there but it's just driving me nuts <laughs> and i know that's a short trip right i know it um okay to this they need two cups of milk in every one of those little things so that's six cups because i did three boxes and y'all have a little bit of heavy cream left from another video y'all help me count and I thought, is there one reason why I shouldn't use that? That's two. And I couldn't think of a reason why not. Okay, y'all, I'm going to try real hard not to reach over there and throw that away yet so I can keep on talking with y'all. Now, this is three. I know. Four. Five. And you can go a little shy if you want to because we've got a lot of strawberry juice in our frozen strawberries. So I went about a half a cup shy, okay? That was another thing Velda would do with you. If you were willing to get in the kitchen with her, she didn't care how you changed up a recipe. She'd just give you a basic. <laughs> hey, this is what I want you to do. And if you wanted to change it or do it your way, she's like, it's yours, you do it. I don't care. So I really like that. She um, was very forgiving in the kitchen and she lets you just use your own personality, your own style, be creative in her kitchen. And I really appreciated that about her. I sure did. Okay, y'all. Y'all know with this instant pudding, this newfangled pudding, we just put a little bit of milk in it, right? And then we're going to have to let it set like it starts coming together. So I just whisk it, mixing it around. So this will give me just a moment to slice a few of these strawberries. And not only do you have to use strawberries, um, but they're very good, but you could use raspberries or blueberries. You could add blueberries to this. So you can make this your own. Bet this would be good with some fresh peaches or pineapple. 
seriously, anything. Oh, y'all, it's already getting warm up in here. I'm down in the canning kitchen, and it was hot down in here, so I turned on my window unit, and it's loud, kind of buzzing in y'all's ear. So I let it run on 60 while I was getting everything out, and I turned it off right before the video, so now it's getting warm up in here. We got to hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. All right, y'all. Let's see. Y'all, something I want to tell y'all that's funny or silly or, I don't know, my goofy self. The last time I wore this shirt was in another video, and I don't even remember what I was making or doing. But when I got the video done and I got ready to get dressed for bed that night, I was taking my shirt off and I realized it was completely wrong side out. <laughs> And there I had cooked and made something, and I was like, well, I can't quite do that over again. And I was getting ready to edit, so I just went on and edited. And um, so there is a video with me with this shirt on, but it's wrong side out. So it kind of looks like a different shirt. <laughs> and I thought, how in the world could I have managed that? But I did. Oh, yes, I did. So anyway, y'all might find it. Some of y'all might have noticed, but y'all would have told me if you did notice. I know that, so. All right, y'all. Maybe this will get us started, and maybe our pudding has thickened. Oh, yes. Yes, it has. And I'm just going to show you the way Belda taught me. I'm going to find me a spatula at this point. I love in this candy kitchen, because there's my sink. I can just throw everything. I know everything's real close. Y'all like right here with me. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. All right. Like I say, this is very, very easy. And so it like looks really pretty. Y'all, I found this punch bowl. I actually was going in a local, well, it's Trees of Righteousness there in Farmerville, if y'all know what I'm talking about. And I was donating some furniture pieces. And you know, while I go in there, then I start seeing pretty things, right? I'm trying to give, and then all of a sudden I'm finding stuff to buy. But I found this little punch bowl. Isn't it pretty? I know, and it has tons of little cups with it. And I said, I don't want the cups. And uh, Miss Susie up there said, oh yeah, if you get it, you get the cups. <laughs> so I've got lots and lots of little cups. But I thought of the punch bowl cake when I saw these. Because um, Velda's looked very similar to this. So, I'm just going to put, I have cut this cake. I just ran my knife and kind of cut it into squares. It doesn't have to stay pretty. You could do this. Velda always used yellow cake mix. You could use pound cake if you wanted to. Or angel food cake. I've seen it done with angel food cake. Um, but the yellow cake mix has a really nice vanilla flavor. And it is so very good. Clean my hands. And now, this is what she would do. Switch this around a little bit. And she would just simply take the frozen strawberries and pour them into the pudding. Just like that. And that's why I'm saying some of that juice is really good and flavors that pudding. Y'all see it? That's why I was about a half a cup shy of the milk. But this one I'm going to drain just a tad bit. Yes, I am. And these little frozen strawberries are so... Mmm. They're almost like candy. They're very sweet like they taste just like what you think a strawberry would taste like you know you know sometimes when you buy them in the store like this sometimes they're sweet sometimes they're not these are like perfect as i'm eating everything right we're getting ready it's gonna rain this evening john's working um the back pasture y'all remember we walked in that back 40 the other day um, and I found that one place on the creek that the fence had come down a bit. He's going to fix that so we can move the cows in there this evening. One of our herds. I need something. Ah, I got it. 
I got this cup scooper. Okay, so this is all we start doing is layering this pudding strawberry mixture just like that. This is so, so, so good. This is the only thing that I like to add a little bit of as well. That Belda did not, but she wouldn't have minded if I wanted to at all. No, she would not have. And I'll put a little bit of Cool Whip. That's right, we went all out with Cool Whip. Now, you could amp this up and do heavy whipping cream, but I'm making Belda's today. Belda's cake. Yes, I am. And you save the majority of that to put all on the top, okay? So just maybe a thin little layer like that. Whatever you want to do, and that's another thing, Belda would not mind however you want to do it. No, she won't. Put us some more cake. You can put the crumbs too. Yes, you can. I'm gonna share this all over. I gotta make the girls at the Trees of Righteousness this cake because they asked me what I was gonna do with this punch bowl and I told them, well, now they want this cake. <laughs> but I will maybe later. Today I'm gonna share it with my daddy and John's mama and nephew and some of the kiddos, just whoever I can get to closest. Mr. Benny Archie, our neighbor, he brought me strawberries. So I really want to go share some of this with him. I sure do. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to put some more strawberries in here. And let's do a little more cake. But I want to show y'all something that I thought about, put some cake here. Real cute idea. So I'm gonna save some of the second one. Like that. All of those cups that Miss Susie made me take, well, guess what? We can make individual cakes in there. Y'all know that is the big thing these days is Cake in a cup, or pie in a cup, or pizza in a cup. Y'all know, don't you? <laughs> I know. And this, you just cover it all up with your Cool Whip. And I've got more. That's the thing about this cake. It's not measurements. It's just... Keep making cake and pudding and strawberries until you get your punch bowl filled up. Here we are. We'll save a little bit for our individual little cakes. If I were taking this, say, to our church for a supper or a lunch, dinner, what have you, you could do this, and I'm going to. I plan on it. I sure do. I just like to cover that cake where all you see is the Cool Whip now. Just like that. And you even can take some more strawberries and possibly make you a little fan. Just like this. Maybe a little strawberry with the greenery, just to let people know what's in there. Whatever you want to do. Isn't that pretty? I know. Okay, guys. Let's sit him right here. This is what I want to show you. With these little cups, you could actually serve the cake. And you could have all your cups also filled with your cake in a cup. Isn't that a fabulous idea? I think so too. Look at there. I just love it. Put your little piece of cake and make sure you get a strawberry with your pudding. Just like that. I know it's super cute, isn't it? It is, it is. And I'm going to cover 
with my cool whip. <laughs> can it, can it go? And it needs a fresh strawberry. It sure does. I heard y'all. Reno, this is that knife you sent me, babe. Thank you. If y'all have never seen Reno, he's called the Rookie Chef on YouTube. And y'all, he is uh, a blessing to watch. I love him. He's so uplifting. And he just makes you feel good to watch him. He really does. So, y'all go check him out if you haven't ever seen him before. And even if you have, go check him out again. Is that not the sweetest little thing? You can have those sitting all around the punch bowl. Isn't that sweet? So, you know, all the little ones, the different ones can pick that up. And then when those run out, they can start dipping into your big one. I just love that idea. I do. I do. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Doesn't it look sweet? It does. I know. I know it. Get down and get. I always get the biggest bites. Hmm. This takes me back 35 years ago, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. I've been making it ever since. Feed Boy Scouts. All sorts. But it takes me back every time. Oh, it's so good. I know. I know. I need to quit eating. Mm -mm -mm. And tell y'all bye. I love y'all. I'm going to get myself cleaned up from here because I've got to go get ready to move cows with John. But I will see y'all next time. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> so good.